Well, you guys got another video here for you. A major problem for Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. If you spend all your hard earned cash on a Ryzen 7000 CPU, then this video is for you. Out the box, you can see they got super high temperatures and some of these CPUs have been catching fire and causing damage to motherboards and CPUs. Now, there's a problem with the actual voltage that is being fed through the actual chip here. And this is causing a major problem. Now they've rushed out a uh, BIOS updates for the motherboard. And you can see there's articles here, which I'll link down in the video below. They're recommending that you adjust your SOC voltage if it's over 1.3 volts. Despite having the latest BIOS version, some people are still having issues. So either disable XMP or Expo or DOCP to, and adjust your SOC voltage in the BIOS. I'll show you how to do that in this video. So it doesn't matter what uh, motherboard you got, you're going to need to make these changes until they find out a fix for this problem because there is major problems and AMD have actually uh, recognized this issue now and have actually made a post on it as well. Now, there's also been articles on other websites where people have actually shared photos of the damage to their CPU socket and also the CPU itself. You can see in this photo here, there's major damage and that is due to voltage. And you have to be super careful. So if you have got one of these on your system, you need to do what I'm going to show you right now to make sure you protect your system. If you don't know what your motherboard is here, you want to make sure that you go to system information and it will tell your brand and make of motherboard here. Then you can go onto Google and do a search for that and head over to the manufacturer's website and see whether there is a BIOS update released for that particular motherboard. This is the motherboard I'm using on this system here. And what you need to do here is you need to go to the actual support page and then download the latest BIOS and update your BIOS. If you look inside driver and utility, then look on the actual BIOS and firmware section here. You'll see it right here. And once you're inside here, you can then choose uh, which model you have. So I'm going to choose this one here. And you can see there's some information about my BIOS for my motherboard. It says it's in beta version, which is very important. So you will be running this on a beta version if you want to try and rectify this issue. There's rumors that this doesn't always fix the issue, but you can see SOC voltage for Ryzen 7000 series is now limited to a maximum of 1.30 volts. So as soon as you flash your BIOS, this will restrict the amount of voltage to 1.30 uh, volts. To protect the CPU and the motherboard to stop it burning out like that because it will go way over and this is a major problem. So you can see here also please note that this beta BIOS version of the motherboard which is still undergoing final testing. So it's important that you do adjust these SOC voltages yourself and I'll show you that right here. Now if we boot into my BIOS you'll see that Expo is enabled on my system but I've already undervolted this system. If you don't have a BIOS update, you need to make sure that you uh, disable this feature because this can cause problems until there's a BIOS update. So I've got mine enabled still, but if you go over to the actual AI tweaker on this motherboard here, when you see the settings here, you should see mine set to Expo 1. There's Expo 1 and Expo 2 on this particular board. Yours might be different, but make sure that you're not exceeding the amount of voltage that they recommend which is 1.30 uh, volts on your actual system i'll show you that in a second but let's go through the settings here if you come all the way down you'll see right here on the precision booster overdrive i've got mine on enhanced and i've also set this to level three and this is so i can lower the temperature of the cpu with this particular setting, it's on level three and it's not going to go above 70 degrees Celsius, the CPU, which is protecting the CPU a little bit. So I've got that set there and I'm not losing any performance on the CPU by doing this. So if you want to adjust your CPU SOC voltage and your CPU VDDIO voltage, then you need to come into this area here in the AI tweaker. You can see here on the manual mode, I will be able to set the CPU SOC voltage to something more safer. Now I'm going to set mine to 1.250 and this is going to set this to 1.25 volts. It won't go above that and that's how I'm going to have mine set. 
You can set it to 1.30 if you want to, but I'm going to be setting mine just under that just to make sure that there's no issues until I flash the BIOS. So I've got these both set now, the CPU VDDIO and also the uh, C SOC uh, voltage has now been set. If we look at HW info here, you'll be able to see on the CPU settings now that we've got both of these set and they are now set to 1.264 volts and they are not going above this. It doesn't matter whether I play games or benchmark this system, it's not going to push above that particular voltage there and that's going to protect the actual CPU to stop it burning the socket or burning out the CPU and that's important until there's a stable version of BIOS which you can use to fix it. I'll run a Cinebench here just to show you exactly what happens here. You can see they're stuck at this voltage. It's not going to go any higher than this. And stability is fine. I'm not having any issues. Now, if you look at the temperatures here, you might see it going in red. And the reason why is because I've forced it to be stuck at 70 degrees Celsius. So it's not going to go any higher than this. And this is important that we don't push it any higher than the recommended setting, which was uh, obviously for me, I don't want to be going into 95 degrees Celsius the way it was at stock settings. So I'm forcing it to stay at 70 degrees Celsius with that lower voltage protection there. Now, every system is going to be different. And again, you might want to tweak yours slightly different. There's many ways to go about doing this until uh, they finally release a BIOS uh, update, which will fix it. And again, you can then go back and change your settings. So do check your own motherboard manufacturer's website and also check your settings to make sure they are stable and they work for you. Because obviously every system is going to be different and stability is super important. You don't want any crashing or anything like that when you're playing games. So set it up the way you want, but just make sure the voltage is not going above 1.30 volts. Otherwise you can end up damaging the CPU and also the motherboard and you don't want that for your expensive hardware. So I hope this video has been some sort of help for you. I'll leave some links down in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Whether you're a tier one or tier two or a tier three, it really doesn't matter. I appreciate all the support that you're giving me. I shall catch you in the next one or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day. Bye for now.